Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, cool, so just wanted to first of all say, you know, thanks for bearing with me. Um, I know I haven't produced a v uh, vlog for a couple of weeks now. Had a big couple of weeks going on, moved house, um, and we've just kind of been waiting for things to uh, settle down so that I can actually kind of, you know, get myself into some sort of routine as well. But it's also been, for me, a bit of a period of reflection as well because um, I wanted to kind of like just take stock of a few things and kind of assess a few things that I wasn't really happy with um, in my life to be honest with you and kind of with, with how with me um, and my own kind of body image um, so just to kind of like go back and give you a bit of backstory um, cut a long story short about seven years ago now um, I used to be really heavy really heavy I was about 150 kilos which in uh, old money it's about 26 stone um, so yeah it really wasn't <laughs> I was really heavy I was also type 2 diabetic as well um, stuck in a job that really didn't you know really didn't enjoy I was uh, traveling salesman uh, so I was that guy who would you know pound the motorways um, you know visiting companies at their offices and kind of I was in telecoms and I just couldn't stand it is the absolute honesty of it it was uh, pretty yeah it, you know but anyway long story short it pretty much you know just compounded things I was also going to the football every weekend so you know I'd go to the football Villa fan for my sins in case you were wondering uh, but I'd go to football every weekend and you know pound 15 20 pints down there and that's before we, we looked at kind of even food you know which goes with that so football kind of inevitably is the pies and, you know and the kebabs and stuff like that um yeah but basically long story short i wasn't in a good way at all i was type 2 diabetic kind of buried myself in head in the sand about that <coughs> and i've just become a dad as well um and this was all kind of building up on me and then you you know you, i know you probably know what it's like yourself you know you kind of ignore little things little traits little you know you kind of shove things to one side um and things kind of build up over point over time and then kind of like you get to that breaking point and that for me was really a photo actually on a night out it was um proverbial straw was a picture on a night out which uh kind of you know i knew i knew i was big but it kind of just really kind of put it in perspective for me because you know what it's like you kind of avoid taking pictures of yourself or you avoid you know having photos taken in yourself for certain positions you don't look yourself in the eye in the mirror is the one i kind of always look at think of as well you know you always kind of shirk away when you look at yourself in the mirror um but this photo really kind of grounded it for me and um decided to do something about it so i got myself a gym membership and um nutritionally wise i really didn't know what i was doing i just kind of downloaded an app called my fitness pal which is like a calorie tracking app um downloaded that onto my phone put in my weight at the time um and uh just followed the calories it told me now looking back i wish i i kind of like you know wish i knew what i knew now um and i'd have done it a little bit more sensibly um because ultra low calories and uh feeling very very hungry and it's only through peer, sheer pig-headedness and really kind of embracing the need to change that I really kind of re got got through that to be honest with you you know 26 got uh, stone guy eating 1800 calories is pretty pretty tough to be honest with you it got to the point where your tummy my tummy really kind of rumbled um, and probably yeah rejoicing really um, when I did feed myself um, you know, and through that period, I kind of really, you know, I know what it's like, you kind of, you're looking for the easy kind of fixes, what's the, you know, the easy kind of solution. So yeah, I tried different things. I tried different diets, different like paleo. I cut out all my carbs, you know, um, I did things like uh, shakes. I actually did shakes, you know, one shake for breakfast, like slim fast, one shake for breakfast, one shake for, for, for lunch. And um, really put myself through it is probably, but at the same time, it's kind of provided me with a very unique perspective. Um, the reality of it is, is you don't need to do any of that, you know, to, to get yourself healthier and fitter. But anyway, I'll come to, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll explore those further along the way. 
Um, but when I got myself a gym membership, and over the period of the next period of 18 months, you know, the first kind of nine months, I really got stuck into it myself. Um, I lost a lot of weight, um, got myself into it. You know, I got a friend to write me a gym routine. Um, and I just kind of followed that for kind of the first real nine months. You know, the first probably two weeks of that, I was just kind of going to the gym and just doing anything. Which, to be honest with you, when you're first starting, it's probably pretty much what you need to do is just do anything. Get to the gym and just do something. Um, but then, yeah, a friend wrote me a plan and I just kind of stuck to that for two or three weeks. Um, and just kind of went from there, really. Um, I then got to a point where I was kind of getting stuck and hitting walls. Um, so inevitably the next course for me was to actually get myself a personal trainer. Um, shout out to Kev if you're watching by the way, he's a great personal trainer in Pure Gym in Northampton. I think he's actually, he's actually the uh, manager in Pure Gym Northampton. So uh, if, you're, if you're that way at all, just uh, go say hello to Kev, he's a great guy. Um, really knowledgeable and he really helped me, really helped put me on the right path in terms of not just you know my training and nutrition but also um, the resources that I now use to train people myself and help educate people myself um, to get them on the right path you know and it's kind of all these different resources now that I are kind of all stacked up over the years five years now I've actually been a personal trainer um, and he really kind of set me off on the right in the right path in the right direction uh, so if Kevin's watching thank you Tim for that um, but yeah but long story, again, long story short, over a period of 18 months, I actually lost 10 and a half stone. Um, I went down from 150 kilos down to 78 kilos, which uh, for me is actually a little bit skinny. I got to that point where my head was a little bit too big for my body. Um, and kind of, this is how I found my way into powerlifting as well. I, for those who don't know, I coach a lot of powerlifters. Um, I lost a lot of weight and kind of wanted to, you know, I was kind of, feeling a little bit like what now you know I'm a very goal orientated person um, so started so I made the decision to get strong and then as a progression of that got into powerlifting and powerlifting you know really enjoyed it had some good success with it and the thing I like about powerlifting as well is it's quite black and well white it's quite easy to see progress um, and so yeah had some some real success but the thing is as well, well I've also kind of had to, you know, as I said at the start, um, had to come to terms with a few things myself over the last couple of weeks about just how unhappy I am with myself now. Um, because the reality of it is, is even being a personal trainer and a coach, and I've coached people to national and international titles and powerlifting, I've helped people lose weight, pass fitness tests for jobs, um, basically, little bit like a lot of people I know and deal with and coach myself I worried about everybody else um, over myself and as a result of that I kind of lost sight of me and my goals and as you can see I'm carrying a bit of extra timber at the minute um, I weighed 106 kilos which for me is about 20 kilos more than I'd, I would like to be um, and it's kind of, you know, again, I've noticed it myself, things stacking up, little things like, you know, shirking, looking at myself in the mirror and not wanting to be in photographs, you know. Um, and also the fact that, you know, being a personal trainer and a little bit chubby kind of also comes with a little bit of a stigma about it. Um, and I kind of really want to combat that. So what I'm going to do is, is, you know, I'm going to just move in. I've just finished a workout. Um, I'm going to go through that now. But... I've hired myself a coach. So this week, I'm just kind of like having a little bit of a reset, a little bit of a washout. Just gonna get used to tracking my calories again, being consistent with that. Um, and next week, I'm up and running with, with a new coach. Got myself a coach, even coaches need coaches. Um, we need, just need somebody to look after me a little bit, do the things that I do for everybody else um, and get things rolling again in the right direction. Um, I need to look like a personal trainer again is the long story short. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna use the vlog to kind of document that journey and kind of talk through my frustrations and my processes and stuff like that. Um, keep myself accountable and uh, keep you guys informed and see how I do things and see if there's anything you can take away for that for your own approach. 
So uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you soon, guys. Thank you. Okay, so with this, I just wanted to record a bit of a um, voiceover as to what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So starting off here, just some deadlifts, nothing too heavy for me, just making sure that I'm keeping nice and neutral in the back, keeping that back nice and straight. And um, just, uh, I did four sets of six here. This is just an easy, pretty easy 140 kilos, which I'll be honest for me, yeah, that's pretty, pretty light. Uh, but yeah, it was fun to get into that. Moving on to some hyper extensions. Again, just working that lower back kind of area, just working on strengthening that. It also hyper extensions here hit the hamstrings. You'll see here now that I just shrug over the shoulders a little bit. Um, that's to try and keep a nice neutral spine throughout. It's something I'm experimenting with, but I'll be honest, looking at that, I'm probably gonna go back to just keeping my shoulder blades back a little bit more pinched back. I think it allows me to stay a little bit more uh, neutral throughout. Moving on is some single leg um, lunges, rear, uh, the rear foot elevated. Um, using a stick to stabilize. You see people who use weight on this all the time, they use dumbbells. But unfortunately, nine times out of 10, you know, this is a stability exercise. They should probably just concentrate on getting more stable rather than adding the weight on this, which is what I've done here. You do both sides. I didn't record both sides for you because I didn't want to bore you that much. Um, and again, this is one of my favorite uh, machines in the gym, actually, and this is a single leg hamstring curl. Um, again, you do both sides, but it really allows you to just really kind of get a stretch and feel the hamstrings in there. Um, really get to, to kind of work those and load those up. And uh, yeah, I really like that. It's one of my favorites um, machines that we have here at PB Performance, which is quite nice and fun. And the last one was some uh, Calf raises because calves are important, right? They're like the biceps of the leg. So don't forget about them. Everybody seems to forget about calves and then when they don't have them. Um, but yep, yeah, uh, that's pretty much my training for the week. week. Um, I've got a, a new program starting this coming week, starting with a new coach, as I mentioned before. So looking forward to getting that going. So uh, catch you guys soon. Take care.